Hi, I'm Dan Schell with Power Equipment Trade Magazine. Coming at you here at the last day of Equip Expo 2022 here in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, this morning we went to the official press conference for the show. And the big news is the show numbers. For the first time ever on the last day here, the show will bring 25,000 visitors to the show. For the first time ever. That includes more than th almost 3,500 dealers uh, and, and a large boost in the overall space increase. According to Chris Kaiser, the president and CEO of the Outdoor Power Equipment Institute, uh, one of the reasons they're seeing is that a lot of companies are moving into new markets. The, the battery situation has, uh, has led to a lot more companies wanting to come into the show. Um, there's also more the, the landscapers and dealers, more people are looking for more solutions more suppliers are looking to get into this show so to be a 39 year old event like it is it's really doing well um another thing that he brought up that uh, might be interesting there's been some change in the board a little bit more international flavor been some turnover in some of the larger companies and uh, he believes there's going to be another they're going to take a pretty close look at maybe moving the show um that's something to keep a look at uh, uh, just keep an eye on long term but uh, there are some, some new individuals on the board that might just want to ask that question. So something to keep a look at. We'll definitely keep an eye on it at Pet and let you know. Um, another thing is Pet Managing Editor Jessica Johnson couldn't be with us today, but uh, I know she'll be thrilled to hear there were 15 official pet adoptions yesterday during the Mutt Madness event. And um, that was a big event there, very well attended yesterday. Um, one thing that came up, I had a reader come by the booth um, and I know everyone loves the electric, battery operated for the world, but uh, one question he brought up was, what are we doing for disposability? There's different regulations, different states, different localities have regulations for battery disposal. Uh, and I, I mentioned that to Chris Kaiser, and he says, yes, that's a factor. Some of the major manufacturers are looking into it, but it's sort of a, it's a problem in search of a solution. You know, there's a, it's not just lawn and garden. There's a lot of different industries trying to look at it. So another thing to keep an eye on going forward. Other than that, it's been a great show here. We've had a lot of activity. There's even a really pretty nice burst of activity here sort of the last couple hours of the uh, show on the last day. So uh, make sure and, and visit the Pet YouTube channel, the Pet Instagram. Look at more show coverage there. And that's really all we have now. We'll see you next time, next year from Equip Expo.